lot of news today. Today, the president used his bully pulpit to encourage folks to boycott an American company, Goodyear Tires, because some dingus on social media posted a picture of what they claim was a slide from a diversity training workshop where it was said that MAGA and Blue Lives Ladder Matters attire was unacceptable, but Black Lives Matter and pro-LGBTQ was okay. Goodyear denied that this graphic was ever any part of any training they offered. The company said it was committed to an inclusive and respectful workplace that allows employees to express their support on racial injustice and other equity issues, but asks them, quote, not to engage in political campaigning of any kind in the workplace for any candidate, party, or political organization. That was their statement. However, not letting facts get in the way of a good outrage. Later today, Trump's press secretary, Cookie McNinney, doubled down on the falsehood, saying that Goodyear needs to come out and clarify their policy. Quote, what was clearly targeted was a certain ideology, she told reporters. They have not denied that that image was presented at one of their facilities, except that they actually did deny that. She added that she was particularly concerned that pro-police Blue Lives Matter attire was okay, while Black Lives Matter attire was not. Except that they never said anything like that. See, here's the thing about cats doing the news. We are impervious to gaslighting. Here's how you can tell that the president's press lackey is lying. Her lips are moving. There were more reports today of USPS equipment being sabotaged and destroyed even after the Postmaster General promised there would be no more fuckery. This time in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where an entire parking lot of mail sorters were dragged outside the building, wires cut, machinery dismantled, so clearly this is still a thing that's happening. And finally, last night the president also complained from his taxpayer-funded mini-rallies happening during the Democratic National Convention that the hearings into the above-mentioned fuckery at the post office would cut into his nomination committee and how come the Democrats couldn't investigate the USPS on their own time, damn it! And that's your murder minute!